Hi everybody and welcome back to Ryan Bolton's Cards. And today we have a box of 1991 Upper Deck Baseball. Hopefully you can find it maybe a Nolan Ryan autograph. A short print of Michael Jordan or a Chipper Jones rookie or Mike Mussina rookie. There's also uh, Eric Carros and, and Reggie Sanders rookies in here. Along with other great stars and, and Hall of Famers. Alright. So let's get to it. So hopefully you like it. You can uh, uh, subscribe. And hopefully you can tell your friends to, to subscribe to my channel. And uh, check out my other videos. And also check out my eBay page at GoPacker79. So let's get to it. So sit back, relax, kick open your feet. Crack open that can of beer or pour yourself a cup of coffee, tea, or whatever you like to drink. Soda, milk. I have a Pepsi with me tonight. So here we go with the box. So hopefully everybody's enjoying their 4th of July or whenever they decide to watch it. Because right now it is technically the 4th of July while I'm doing this. Because it is 1 o'clock in the morning. So technically it's 4th of July right now. So here we go. All these packs are upside down. From the, from the box. So here we go. I'm going to scoot this over so we have room. And here we go with the first pack. So they do have foils of uh, team names in here, or refractors, whatever you want to call them. There's Jack McDowell. Julio Franco. Jay Buhner. There we go. There's a nice hologram right there. The White Sox. It's a great one. We got a top prospect of Brooke Fordyce. He's up there. And Rafael Palmero. And Luis Rivero. Let's do the second pack. Here we go with the pack number two. There's also a uh, Nolan Ryan Heroes cards in this set too. There's a John Smoltz. A Sammy Sosa. The White Sox. Tony Fernandez. And we got the Detroit Tigers. Let's see. There you go. That's a good shot of the Tiger. Oh, and then we have another Brook for us. And uh, Pedro Guerrero. Team checklist. Two, two packs and two Brook for us. And two Brook for, for ice. Rookies. There we go. There's a new one. And then we have uh, Lenny Dykstra. Yeah. Team checklist and Red Sox. We got Ozzy Smith. Carlos Borrega. Another John Smoltz. Now it seems like these cards are. All which direction. There's another Sammy Sosa. Darren Dalton. Uh, speaking of this guy that has a beach ball in his hand, 
One of my pet peeves at a baseball game is beach balls. There's a reason why they're called beach balls, because they're for the beach people. They're not for baseball games. I hate beach balls going around the stadium. It just takes it takes your, your attention off the game, and it ju it's just a pain for people to bring these beach balls into the, into the stadiums. And Dodger Stadium is known for beach balls. But the whole reason they're called beach balls is for the beach people. That is one of my pet peeves at a baseball game. I know it's great for the kids. I mean, when I was a kid, I wanted to hit one so bad. But now that I'm an adult, it just takes away from the game. You know, it distracts you. You have your attention somewhere else. The wrong Gantt. And it's just annoying. Now I can't stop getting hit with them. I never got to hit, really hit one when I was a kid. I always, but now that I was a adult, every time I go to the game, it seems like they'd find me. Another Red Sox. So people, if they do let fans in the game, keep the beach balls at home. Take them to the beach. Not to games. Thank you. Hey, I mean, I've even seen people bring those things to wrestling events. David Wells, Juan White. Yeah, I'm sitting there at a, at a wrestling event and somebody, and they got beach balls going around the, the inside the stadium. Or inside the arena. Another Red Sox. Hall of Form. A third one of those. Yeah, Kyle Abbott. Top prospect. So far, no chipper yet. But we're only in a few packs in. So, still early. Bobby Witt, senior. Around the cards go. There's a Paul Molitor. Yeah. Joe Carter. Dave Stewart. We have a Texas... Rangers hologram and the Roger and then a Carlton Fisk White Sox team checklist hopefully we can find here's that groundbreaking card again from the last time I opened up a box or at least pulled this card I said this is one of my favorite Cards for some reason back in the, the nine, early 90s. I don't know why, but that was just one of my favorite cards. Willie McGee, Dave Hollins, Willie Randolph. And besides Frank Thomas, I think that was like the other card that made me really like, start liking, really liking the, the White Sox for some reason. And there's the first uh, Baseball Heroes. Nolan Ryan, 1979, back home with the Astros. Card number 13 of 18. Chris Hollins, Greg Olson. Hopefully we can find an autograph. There's Kevin Mitchell of Nolan Ryan. Ron Samuel. And there's another White Sox hologram. Got the top prospect checklist. So here's the, the checklist if you guys want to check it out. Um, I might get a little blurry there. There's a checklist. There's Mike Nussina on here. And I'm sure there is uh, there's Reggie Sanders, Mike Lieberthal, Todd Van Poppel, there's Chipper Jones. Okay. 
think the last time I opened up a box of these, I think I think I got one chipper, but I didn't get the Messina. Yeah, I remember if, it was, if I opened a full box or just that like somewhat half box I opened up. Can't, re can't remember. It was the one that I think a few months ago. There's a J Bell and there's a Red Sox sticker again. I'm gonna give one of these to my brother because he's a he's a Red Sox fan. It's a Dave Hansen star rookie. One of the, the best DH hit, or yeah, one of the best uh, hitters coming off the bench, pinch hitter. They're, they're pinch hitter, best pinch hitter in baseball for a long time. There's Ozzy Smith, and then a Cecil Fielder. Fielder's feet. He was ha he would have like he had was one of the best batting averages for a pinch hitter in the early nineties. There is also an Eric Karos rookie card in this too. I think Eric Karos only has three rookies in 91 and that's Bowman upper deck and ultra Tony Fernandez again it's Travis Fryman he was a big deal in the early 90s too there's Detroit again and we have Tim Castillo top prospects and then we got Dave Stewart team leader or team checklist, and then a Jade Bell again. There's Kenny Rogers. There's, there's the big hurt right there. There's Frank Thomas. Kind of giving the finger in that one, too. Or well, that's what it at least looks like. There's the Rangers. I got Cecil Fielder again. And a Roberto Kelly. And then a dance effortlessly. So just to look at the Frank Thomas again. It looks like he's giving up the middle finger right there. But who knows? It could just be the way the camera angle is and just happens to be getting this that one finger. Because you can see he has his wristband blocking his other hand. It could have just been the way that they captured the picture at the time. We got Alex Fernandez. I believe it's his rookie. There is a Jeff Bagel, but he's in the higher high series, so you wouldn't get him in these boxes. Socks refractor, and we got Mo Vaughn or Maurice Vaughn, star rookie, and Ron Gant, yeah, for the Atlanta Braves team checklist card. Mo Vaughn was a, a big deal before Big Poppy was for the Red Sox. That Moises Alou. 
right here. His rookie is 1990. There's Ken Griffey Sr. Let's say we got another Nolan Ryan Heroes card. 1975 double mer double milestone. Looks like it says no hit number four. It's Rob Ventura. Those old white socks uniforms. Throwbacks. Howard Johnson, another White Sox, another Tim, and we have Tim Wallach, yeah, for the Montreal Expos checklist. We got Mickey Hatcher for this pack. Gary Sheffield. Jose Lee. Corey Snyder. Who would later become a Dodger. Ricky Jordan. And we got the Texas Rangers sticker again. And we got... Greg Jeffries from the Mets, Team Lent, and Royce Clayton, top prospect, which his rookie card is an 89 Bowman. Nice Juan Gonzalez taking a batting practice right there, it looks like. Kevin, Roberto, Doug Drabeck, Don Slot, got Texas Rangers again. Is there a sticker? I got uh, Leo G Gomez, star rookie for the Orioles. And I got Glenn Davis for the Orioles. Team checklist. Got some like, foil and stuff coming off these these packs. We got Jeff Conine, rookie, and Royce Clayton. Got two in this pack. Look at that part. Look at the back of that sticker. The Red Sox. Got Carlos Borrega again. Dwight Gooden. Greg Olson. Looks like we have another Nolan Ryan Heroes. 1990, the sixth. Roger McDowell. Ricky Henderson in a nice three spot position. Right, let's do the next pack. It seems like the rookies are usually always on this back one, it looks like. So we'll just try to keep that one for last a suspense to see if maybe we get the Chipper Jones. Terry Pendleton. Dave Parker. Got Lonnie Smith. There's Daryl Strawberry. And he became a Dodger. Coming over from the Mets. And then you got 
Ozzy Canseco next to his twin brother, Jose Canseco. Jose, Jose, Jose. Now we got Detroit Tigers again. And we have two checklists. Ron Gant and Dave Parker for the Braves and Milwaukee Brewers. And Mitch Williams. Yeah, when you see Jose Canseco's card, you may make sure it is Jose Canseco before you buy that card. You gotta look at the names because they are twin brothers. Back in 1991 or 92, my dad was going threw some cards with me at a shop in their 25 cent bin and he just saw a Kaseko and I was like oh yeah I'll, I'll get it it was from 1990 Leaf too and it turned out once I really looked at it it was actually Ozzy Kaseko it was a rookie card but it wasn't Jose there's Nolan Ryan again 1973 a career year And actually, back when when almost like every single card was like looking pretty decently, it wasn't a bad card to have at the time. It's a Cecil Fielder coming back, no, a year after coming back from Japan. John Olerud. We got a Red Sox sticker again, and two team checklist again. Right after I say that the. Rookie cards on the back, and the last two packs does not have a rookie card in it. Oh, do you consider this the front or the back? But the pack, but this one's on the back of the of the pack. This one's on the front. But when you pull it out, this, I don't know. However, you guys want to look at it. Another Nolan Ryan. There's Will Clark. And then we got the Nolan Ryan double milestone. Pedro Guerrero. Howard Johnson. Alan Trammell. White Sox again. Got a top prospect of Will Cordero and a Kevin Belcher star rookie Jody Reed. Well, that time we got two cards in that pack. Get Jimmy Key. Edgar Martinez. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Kevin Brown. Another Nolan Ryan baseball heroes. 1989, 5,000. Bobby Thigpen. Todd Steidemeyer. Daryl Boston. Tigers again. Seems like we get the same repeats of, of stickers. I got Barry Bonds. Pirates checklist. And the Wilfredo Cordero. Star or top prospect. And Kent Herbeck. It just keeps seeming like we keep getting the same ones between the Tigers, White Sox, and, and Boston. Seems like those are the ones that seem to be the most in the Rangers, because we got a few of those. We got some more White Sox. Texas. Boss. I like the White Sox because it has all the stuff also around it too, not just just the logo. The whole card looks good. Is pretty much all this is the same. Pretty much Detroit. And then we got the White Sox. Got Boston. 
on the Rangers. We got four different stickers or teams out of these, all these stickers. I'm about probably half a pack, half a box down now. Got Ken Hill. Randy Johnson. Eric King. Mike Sosha. There's Ken Caminiti. And look who here. We got a Detroit Tiger. Scott Aldred. Star rookie. And Roberto Alomar for the checklist. So hopefully you guys are liking this video so far. Be sure to, to like, tell your friends, check out my my eBay page at GoPacker79. That will help out a lot. Got Kirby Puckett. There's Ben McDonald, Darren Dalton. Corey Snyder, Alan Mills, and Texas Rangers. And we have a Kiki Jones top prospects for the Dodgers and a Steve Decker star rookie for the Giants. Mike Marshall, Scott Erickson, Bob Welch, and we got the baseball, here these are supposed to be short printed I guess, the, the hero pages are the, the headliner cards, Kevin Mitchell, there's Jim Lee Ritz, Greg Maddox, Bunting, Sandy Alomar Jr. And we got the White Sox again. And then we have Roberto Alomar and Sandy Alomar. Checklist. So that's a bit not bad. The two brothers. There's John Wetland looking happy. He's like, hopefully you're getting a good card in this pack. That's why he's happy. Rafael Palmero. Lenny Dykstra. Andy Van Slyke. Greg Biggio. That's catcher's gear before he went to second base. And we know we have the Red Sox. We got Steve Masters. Bobby Thigpen is the. Oh, Save Masters. I said Steve. <laughs> I meant it says Save Masters. Huh? I don't even know what I was thinking. Kiki Jones, top prospect. Oh, I was I was thinking for some reason I was thinking of Steve Carlton when I said that too. Was it not even the right player? Tino Martinez. And we have the Red Sox again. Scott Campus, I don't know. Too long of a last name. Yeah, Matt Williams and the Todd Zeal. Being interviewed in the dugout, looks like. Well, hopefully you get to see a Chipper Jones and a Mike Messina. Hopefully maybe a Michael Jordan. There's 
breaking ground again. You got Jim Abbott. Robbie Thompson, White Sox, again. Lance Dixon, and Ramon Martinez. Dodgers checklist. Tim Belcher. Rick Sutcliffe. Oops. Slip it out of my hands. There's a Tony Gwynn. Matt Williams. And then we got the White Sox again. And then we have. Gary Scott, top prospect, and Franklin Stubbs. Jamie Moyer, Danny Tartable. Sid Fernandez. We got Tim Raines. Rangers again. And Jack Morris and Matt Williams. Checklist and Mark McGuire. For so those of you who are looking, have been noticing this thing in the background, it is a coaster from, uh, I got from Thrill, Thrill Card. Thrillpackcards.com. They're a new, uh, I guess, a new thing on YouTube that they've been doing around, I guess, for a few months, where he opens up packs and does some deals for you guys that you guys buy. It's Bo Jackson. Um, he has broken up sets that he does, Del Murray, that he uh, he has made of good years, so they're cheaper to buy those than the actual packs. Trying to get some good stuff. And he has like buy-in breaks for some stuff too. So there's the Eric Karros rookie. And another Gary Scott. So we got Eric Karros rookie, which is nice. So what I've been doing, and he goes online or on YouTube live on Thursdays and Fridays. And when the breaks fill up, and that's when he, he breaks them. He does a he usually does one football break, one baseball break at a time, and waits for them to fill up before you. And he also does a lot of free giveaways throughout the while he's live and free packs. So Ken Griffey Jr. So if you want to check him out, it's the thrillpacks.com. Thrillpackscards.com. And once I get some stuff in the mail, I'll start opening up some of their mail stuff so you can see what they got. Andre Dawson, or what stuff I bought. BJ Surhoff. Randy Johnson. He broke up a set of 81 football. Let's try and go for the... Is it Doug Drabeck? Dave Parker. I was trying to go for the Joe Montana rookie, but I didn't get it. Somebody else ended up getting it. Sean Barry and a Chris Sable. So these also had 86 tops. So I'm trying to go for the Jerry Rice. Last I saw or heard as of yesterday, as it was Thursday, there was 10 packs left of it. So there's a guaranteed Jerry Rice in one of those 10 packs. There's a Nolan Ryan. It's a nice one. And he had some 84 
pops. I bought the rest of them. I would, there was only like six packs left, and there's still the Don Manley still hasn't been pulled. But, so I just bought the last six and was able to get a Don Manley rookie card. John X, Eckers, Top Prospect, still no Chipper, still no Musina. They also have a Bernie Williams also as like a star, as a top prospect, I think, or a star rookie, I'm not sure, in this. But he's got lots of stuff that you can pick from and, and choose from. And like I said, he gives giveaways, Wade Boggs. And sometimes some of the guys that win things, they, they say randomize some of their cards. And so sometimes you might get an extra card. I think the other, I think last week when he was on the, this one guy, um, he bought some, uh, some, uh, packs of, of, uh, 2020 Bowman. And he put some of the inserts and some of the higher guys up for randoms. There's a Alejandro Cedeno and that jock, John Erickson again. And one of them was a, was a Bobby Witt Jr., it was just a baseball man, it wasn't the problem. But he was, he told to randomize that card along with like a, a Yodon Alvarez insert card. So, so some people tell people to randomize stuff and people donate their some of their cards to other guys just because they know that they're fans of that team or that player. So, so far from what I've seen, it seems like a pretty, pretty good, uh, group Ruben Sierra and Tony Gwynn so check them out like I said they usually go live on Thursdays and Fridays but you can go to their website and buy your thrill as he calls it your thrill and he'll open up your thrill on camera and sometimes he'll throw in some free stuff during your shipping if you sign up for their membership which is free And then we got Pat Kelly and Sean Berry. Which is pretty cool because my very first uh thing I got in the mail, I got I got that and a few and a few stickers and a few of these stickers. And uh one of the extra cards he sent me because you know he I put down that I'm a White Sox fan and Dodger fan and some of my favorite players was Eric Carroll and Frank Thomas. I did and he ended up giving me a, a Frank Thomas graded card in my ma in the in my package for free, which I liked very much. So that was very appreciated. And you can also earn points for discounts off stuff that you buy too. So it's pretty good. And he's just starting out, so he wants to try to build up his followers. So you should go check him out. On his live and on his on the their website. I think I'm talking to you. I'm putting the wrong players in the wrong stack. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Got three packs left here. Still no chipper or night or. Or Mike Messina or, or Michael Jordan even. Dennis Cook. Not looking happy at all. There's a George Brett. You know, it's a Red Sox sticker. And Chris Sable and Mike Greenwell. Checklist. Two packs left, guys. Two packs. Chuck Carr. Dave 
Clark, Jack Clark, Todd Benzinger, White Sox again, and we got Scott Cooper, star rookie, and Chris Johnson, top prospect. All right, last one, guys. That'd be nice game. Mike Messina and and uh, Chipper Jones in the same pack. That'd be nice. But I doubt because they've been giving either a star rookie and a top prospect the two ones they get. And you can't get two. I haven't seen two top prospects in one pack yet. Checklist. Todd Stoudemire. And then there's Jose Canseco. Detroit Tigers. And we got Chris Johnson, top prospect. All right, guys. No chipper. No Mysiana. No Jordan. No autograph. But there you go, guys. There's the box. So be sure to give me a like, comment if you want, subscribe, please, and check out my, my eBay at GoPacker79. Until next time, have a good one. Cheers.